modern advanced find. And we'll take a look at a couple of slides here from the PowerPoint perspective before we go into my trial environment. What I'm showing on the screen is what is called the advanced find or legacy advanced find. And you would see within the application, this little funnel icon here at the top right, when I tap on it, on it when I tap on it, I'm taken to uh, this interface and I look for the various records that I would want to work on, whether they be accounts or contacts, uh, opportunities, etc. And then I can use a view that's already been created as my basis for asking or looking for additional filters. I can also edit the columns and I can also save this as a personal view once I'm done finding the records and filtering for the records I'd like to work from. The modern advanced find looks a little bit different and the idea is that it gives us an up-to-date interface and it also works hand in hand with global search that you would see um, at the top of the screen. So we'll jump into it. Let's go over to the environment and take a look at how this looks. At the top, we have the global search turned on. And if I tap in the search button, you see that I'm able to search for rows in a table using advanced filters. This is the modern advanced find replacing the functionality that would be here if we had the little funnel instead, which again is the legacy advanced find. So if I tap on this particular item, I can, for example, look for opportunities. And once this loads, you'll see that instead of the legacy advanced find where we have the rows, this is a little bit more intuitive, I think. So we can add a filter at a row here to filter for um, specific records. And so, for example, you could say that the estimated revenue is you know greater than or equal to um, you know some value like twenty five thousand dollars, and we just want to see the top opportunities, and we could hit apply. Before I do that, though, you can add additional filters and you can add filters for fields on related entities. So, for example, the account uh, for the opportunity is in Pennsylvania um, or is in Kansas. And they'll go ahead and apply those filters. What happens then once we do that is we go back to a list of opportunities, but we get a little asterisk telling us that, hey, something has changed here and we're able to um, have kind of a temporary view if, if you like. And from this temporary view, if I tap the view menu drop down again, I can save this as a new view and then work with that and maybe rename it, um, share it to others and work from that perspective. So that's what the uh, modern advanced find does for us. It works in conjunction with the new values that you see on the top right here also so I, I can edit the columns and I can continue to edit the filters as I work here back in the normal user interface and then go ahead and save that as a new view or save this custom view and again share it with others.